Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you some Audacity mixing and mastering tips. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Okay, let's get into it. Here's Audacity, a couple of tracks. I've got a jingle track up here. Let's start it playing. And I'm mixing this together with some vocals here. So if I just solo this track for a second and play further down, this is my jingle bed, but then of course take it off solo. There are my vocals, which I can solo as well. Now, as I'm mixing this together, I've also taken down the volume on each track by about 5 dB, just to make sure that I don't go into the red here on my levels meter. Uh, now, if I want to mix two different tracks together, I can use this tool here, which is the time shift tool, to move things around on the timeline there to get them synced up. Now, obviously, that's not quite right. It's so I need to get it to the right place, slip it along until I find that right place. Let's try here. Nearly there, but not quite. Let's move along just a nudge more. And that's feeling good. And maybe we're just nipping a little too close to zero dB there. So I'm going to move the gain down to minus eight on both tracks again for my mix and play back. Now I'm confident I've got a good mix that's not distorting, that is ready to master. So I've done the mixing part, now I'm going to move on to the mastering. So I need to get this out as a single waveform so I can do some Audacity mastering tricks on top of it. So I'd go into the File menu, I'd go to Export, and I'd want to export losslessly, so in as high quality as I can, as a WAV file. So I'll do that, save it here to my Downloads folder, and the tracks will be mixed into one stereo file. That's exactly what I want. Click OK. I can give some metadata if needed. Click OK to that. And boom, that's now saved in my downloads folder. I can drag and drop it. And this is my mixed file down here on track number three. So I can actually cross out those two tracks if I want or just mute them if I don't want them in my mix. Now I can listen to the final mix. And what I'm going to do for mastering, so we can see side by side, I'm going to take this track here that I've got, go into my selection tool, select everything, Control or Command A as well can do that. That'll select all of your tracks though, so just this track. Control Command C to copy, and then we want to go to Tracks, Add New, and we want to add a new stereo track where we will then paste that jingle. So we've now got two exact copies and I can go between them uh, and listen. Okay, so let's get rid of those mixes now because we're not going to need them and look side by side. And we'll focus on this one where we're going to add some mastering effects. And the first thing I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go into effect and I'm going to go to limiter here. Uh, of course, I need to select everything. So let's select all of that audio track. Effect, limiter down here. And I'm going to say, do not let this go louder than minus 3 dB. OK, leave everything else as it is. Make that a hard limit, meaning no audio can go above minus 3 dB. And look, it's just a tiny bit of chopping there to make sure the audio stays within recommended limits for my final mix. Now, what I can do now, if I want, is I can go ahead and add on some EQ if I feel that's needed. Maybe some graphic EQ. Let's flatten this out and maybe have a little play. Let's preview. And I might say, well, you know, I want to boost up a little bit of the high end so I can just bring up the high end here uh, and see how that sounds. Let's try that. A lot crisper, so I'm going to apply that. And look, see, now it's spiked out again. So again, I can add on a limiter just to even that all out. Again, same settings, boom. And then we'll go into effect and we'll go to loudness normalization. Now, this is particularly important if you're mastering to upload online uh, as a podcast or streaming, YouTube. For YouTube, you want to make this perceived loudness to be minus 14 LUFs. And if it's a podcast, you want to make it minus 16. So let's go for minus 16. Everything else can stay the same. Click OK. And now that is normalized. It's mixed. 
It's mastered and it's ready to upload online. So I can now look side by side at both tracks. So let's take this off solo. This is the original track, quite spikier, more dynamic range. This one's been flattened out and limited and a little bit of EQ added. So I can get rid of this now before, stay with the after, file, export, save it as whatever I want, maybe MP3 to go online. And that's it, my final mixed and mastered track right out of Audacity with a few effects. Really quick, really easy. If you've got any questions or a video you'd like me to see do in the future, just let me know in the comments down below. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Radiocreative.com